Good morning. Fuck you. <laughs> chicken look at him go oh. so for right now we are just taking the boys on a quick walk before we head out to go training because there was a crash yep so there was a crash on the road that we would normally take we are you know gonna leave a little bit later than we originally planned just to kind of well at least we planned on being here early right so today arlo is actually coming with us because we're going to pet friendly places only and he's and starting to use his leg a little bit more and he seems like he really wanted to go. And the vet said that it was okay for him to go on short, pet-friendly excursions for now. So that's what we're doing. Oh, are we turning around now? Look what we found. What up everybody, it's my channel and today my finger is bleeding. It's the middle one, like fuck you, there you go. So basically we got cut off because we had to um, go. There's now something blocking our door. Right, so we'll talk about we'll talk about what we got later. But um we got cut off because Michaela had to make some vet calls and we'll talk about why in a second but um 
we went into the Humane Society thrift store. We found a bunch of stuff, which is really cool, and we'll show it to you guys probably when we get home. Um, but for right now, Michaela is actually going to tell you about kind of what's going on because she's had kind of a rough morning. Morning. Um, so basically, yesterday when Toby got his blood work, we found out that he actually has lost five pounds since January, which is slightly insane. Well, even more so than that. So basically, in, in January, he was 70 pounds. When they took his weight for the dentist consult, he was 66. And then yesterday, was that yesterday? Yesterday. Yesterday, he was 65.4. The vet is concerned because it is strange for him to have lost that much weight, especially since we haven't changed his food. Um, in fact, he is getting more food because he's training and he's getting a lot more high calorie treats and high sugar and high fat treats. So it doesn't really add up that he's lost so much weight. And then looking at him the other day, I noticed that not only that, but he's lost a little bit of muscle mass, which is kind of strange because since we had started working him out more, he shouldn't have lost that much. And we didn't start working him out that much until like the other day. So he wouldn't have lost this because of like extra exercise. Ago. Right. This isn't exercise related. So we are looking into it and um, because he is going to go under anesthesia, the dentist felt better to get an abdominal ultrasound. So we're doing that tomorrow, 8 a.m. My dad is going to take him while I go to work. Bye, Mason. Um, and we'll find out what happens. So he needs a... He needs an abdominal x-ray to ensure that there's nothing abdominal going on. Ultrasound. An abdominal ultrasound They to tried ensure. to get us to get him to do an x-ray, but we told them no. Um, because, because they didn't, they wouldn't explain to us why it was necessary, so I, so I told them no. The, the vet that she's taking them to for the ultrasound, not the original. Right. The vet that he needs to see for dentistry wants him to get an abdominal ultrasound prior to him going under anesthesia. And then the vet that she was gonna take him to to do that said, oh, well, we also want an x-ray. And it's like, why? And they wouldn't explain why, so. So we said no, unless, of course, they call me and they're like, we need an x-ray to be able to understand better. Then it's something we can discuss, but. For right now, there's just not really a, a reason that makes sense. So it's it's really frustrating because the thing is, is, is we thought that this was just gonna be you know, originally we thought he was going to go in to the dentist and just, they were going to just seal it and that was going to be it. Right. We didn't think he was going to need surgery. And now he needs surgery and he needs an x-ray and, and they don't even like, and now he needs this other thing. Right. And part of this, and I don't really talk about it on my channel a lot. I guess that's why I'm on Brielle's channel, but basically, uh, we did have a, f a family dog, um, that passed away last year and how it kind of went was she was not feeling great. So they said they wanted an abdominal ultrasound and that's how we found out and how things went. And she was gone a month later. So it just, it was very, even though that's not the situation here, it was still very like getting the same procedure on a different dog is still probably concerning because she feels like this traumatic is going to happen. Right. So. Yeah, and now we're waiting for Culver's, my favorite place. So, welcome to Delicious. Look at my battle scars from training your dog. The big bruise is from training my dog? Uh -huh. Jesus. Wait, all the food is on clearance if I'm over nine foot six? What? That's discriminatory. Not nice. Sir. You're not wearing your mask correctly. You're wearing it under your nose. Sir, sir, excuse me. Do you have a second? Me. Do you have a second to talk about our Lord and Savior, Dr. Fauci? Sir, 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 there's a person, sir. <laughs>
You have the Michaela dance break in every video. Oh. <laughs>
have set. Ready? Set. Good job. He jumped the first time I did, but that's because he was totally not expecting it. Toys we found. This one's a little water machines. This one's a Toby safe. There's a casino. These are small. Actually, they make them bigger. Very cool. Very cool. So, so we finished up at PetSmart. We worked on basically everything on our list. So pretty proud of that. What do you think? I don't think we filmed everything we worked on, no. but um, we did work on basically everything on our Hobby Lobby. Our Hobby Lobby. So that's kind of where we're at. I'm thinking that, you know, we'll just have to keep working. Um, it, started, it started to rain. We were going to go train outside in front of a dog park, um, but it's starting to rain, so we're not going to be able to do that. But, we're just going to hang out. Yeah. Uh, you know, I don't have to go home quite yet. that we were going to look at for the ultrasound and we're scheduled tomorrow at 8 a.m. My dad is going to take him and then my sister's going to pick him up hopefully or my dad will pick him up um, but I work and I have class so in order to be able to do those things you know I gotta I, I gotta pass the, pass the torch you know so um yeah I don't know we'll see I do have to do an outline for a paper and find four sources for it by the end of the night, but... How do you feel like it went? Good. Is there anything you feel like we need to work on next time? Everything? That's not helpful. We have to practice everything every time so that it gets better. Yeah, but I mean, is there something specific that you thought? No. Okay. Emergency stops, baby, just cause... Like, he, he's good at them, but today he was a little weird. Yeah, he's acting a little bit weird with the emergency stops. Um, Arlo did pretty well. I am happy with how he performs today. Uh, I know that, that it's going to be kind of a long, a long battle of, of going back into him working because of the fact that he you know, is still recovering. Um, obviously, he was not working today. I was just kind of letting him... You know, I still had expectations of like regular focus and stuff like that, but I didn't, you know, or doing like a ton of work stuff. And, um, but I did kind of like have him do a couple of like times where he was healing around so that he would, you know, use the leg a little bit. Um, Cause his leg is fully completely healed. He is allowed to use it. Um, but it's just teaching him to use it again. So any situation that I can use to teach him to do that is, is a good situation. So today was a nice way to do that. And then also getting him used to being out in public places, even if it is pet friendly for now, is still you know a step up from what he's doing now. So, yeah. So I'm very proud of how both the boys performed today. Basically, we are, we are gonna show you guys what we got at the thrift store. Hey guys, so real quick while Michaela is in the bathroom, we're gonna take another walk because it looks like it's not raining yet. Um, but real quick while she's in the bathroom, I'm gonna show you guys what I got from the thrift store. So 
I wanted to get Arlo a toy today because I thought that today was just kind of special because it's his first time back in public. So I got him this little bark box toy. It is a little pie and inside of the pie there is two little pockets that have little apples so it's a little apple pie um, and the apples are small and he can pull them out and chew on them and squeak them and those are his favorites he loves those little toys so um i think this will be a very cute toy for him i think he'll love this so there's two two apples one on that side one on that side so and it's crinkly as well so he loves that and then I also got this scarf, which is going to be a new staple in, like, most of my outfits because I freaking love it. It's got all the dog breeds on it. Oh, it's so beautiful. Well, not all of them, but it's got a bunch of them. Very beautiful. Um, of course, got to represent Poodle is on there. We've got um, American Eskimos. We've got Afghans, Boxers, Arendales, Shih Tzus. Um... Bichons, Samoyeds, Dalmatians, all those beautiful doggos, Dachshunds. There's just a ton. So I'm very excited. This is a new favorite in my closet. I'm very excited to start wearing this more often because it's so cute. I just love it so much. So I'm very excited to start wearing that. And then the other items, Michaela and I will show you when she um, actually comes back out. So basically, the other things that we got there, there, um, she has some stuff, and then I, we also got two. It's just toys, you guys. It's just toys. Where is it? I don't know. Go grab it. We also got two big things that we're gonna show you. Um, I if you guys, filmed it already. I filmed my stuff. Can I hold them off leash? Not right now. So I'm going to show you guys what we got that was like the big stuff. If you guys don't remember, we're moving into an apartment together. So these are going to be kind of like apartment furniture things. So this is, oh, so this is a big, uh, it's a large, both dogs can fit on here at once. It's pretty awesome. It is a, um, a cot basically. And I'm pretty psyched about that because the thing is, is, you know, I've always wanted something like this, and I've never had it. So I'm psyched to now have something You're like welcome. this. You're welcome. Thank you. <laughs> so both dogs can fit on here comfortably, which is You're great. So I'm very excited about this. It's going to be really cool um, to have a place for both of the dogs to go. And the other thing that we got is in here, because I don't want to freak neighbors out. <laughs> we found another Melissa and Doug? Doug realistic dog. Dog. So we need to clean it, but for I'm right now, saying. hello, is it real dog? Uh -oh, uh oh, careful. Hello, is it real dog? So we need to clean it, but eventually, um, it will hang out with my Dalmatian dog and they will be friends. So there's that. You need dog tags and names. So yeah. Everybody comment with names below. Right. What should I name my Dalmatian and what should we name this guy? So yeah, what should we name them? And then... We also got, uh, Michaela got a few things. We this got. interesting. So you take the rubber band and you just like fling it. Yep. So it is a little like paper airplane looking thing. Yeah. Um, and it's for, you know, fetch, which will allow Toby to go a lot faster and farther. And then this is supposed to be, I think it's supposed to be a Christmas tree. I don't know what it's supposed to be necessarily, but it's just a super chewer toy. Um, and then there's another one that's a little triangle. And these ones are both some of the, the super chewer toys, which Toby can actually chew on, which is really nice. Not right now. Well, not right now, but um, Toby can actually chew on them and he doesn't destroy them immediately. So that's great. So we still have to clean this guy off. And then you guys might've seen that that dog has a little bit of a yellow mark. So I got to clean that guy. Um, I'll release the video of me cleaning the other Dalmatian soon because I filmed that. So... Perfect. Perfect placemat for Michaela. <laughs> so, yeah, we had a great time today, and I think that we did pretty good. So now we're just gonna gonna take a walk and, and kind of vibe for a little bit, and then Michaela will will head home. I don't want to do my homework. I was like, I'll hang out with you. Oh, good. Help me not do my homework. Thanks. <laughs> All right. Still I
Storms we chase and leave.